lot of the positive messages you were seeing from fans about you know the recovery for you, from, especially from the first game, you know, on social media and everything. Yeah, the fans obviously always show me a lot of love, and for me, I feel like I owe them every time I play. I try and repay them. So hopefully, I can do that tomorrow. But most importantly, it's just about winning the game and progressing. So, you know, we need to look long term at future competitions and. Yeah, so um, it's not bad. The important factor here is that he's fully fit and ready to go. Um, honestly, have you seen Panama play MG? They look like a world class side. No, I haven't seen them, honestly. Um, Jardo said, See Trinidad and Tobago beat USA every day. You talk about reggae boys who can't beat nobody. <laughs> so, what I know, we want to talk about Jardo, reggae boys, um, Trinidad. <laughs> yeah, so um it's so nice to I'm gonna I'm gonna speak with uh speak about the Trinidad team. So up so warriors. Big up yourself now man. Recall about said our gate fly and free to watch a game, yet we can't even have a full grandson. What a damn shame. I will be getting that Canada wasn't that good on Saturday. They were playing for the draw. Oh sun it's actually Sunday morning. Big up yourself, David Beckham. Blessings, my respect. Thank you very much for tuning in. All right, so we have we have done the long haul um, where Demarge is concerned. So for me personally, I love the fact that that Grace coming in now. Um, unfortunately, I thought that if we could have gotten a result, if we could have gotten a result at home, even a draw, I think would have been in a better position going into this game. Would have been a significantly better position going into this game now with the addition of demar gray or demar i gray i'm saying demar demar i gray it's definitely going to bulk of the squad it's definitely going to bulk of the squad but will it be sufficient enough for us to still get a win now there are many aspects of the game we played over the weekend where i thought that demar demar i gray would have been a vital or key asset if he was with the team in transition, Liam Bailey was our only outlet. In transition, we had no much. We had no other width other than Liam Bailey. So all the passing, all all everything we're trying to do was do it. Do it was trying to do it through Liam Bailey, and that's one of the reasons why um, Liam Bailey would have come under so much pressure because he's the one who is in prime position to do something for us. I. Definitely believe that we didn't create create enough chances. I believe we didn't create enough chances in the same sense, but we created more than enough chances to win the game. Because at the end of the game, we created four big chances, whilst Canada created two. Guess what happened? Canada create Canada put away their two big chances, whilst Jamaica didn't put away any. Um, only said Canada would be hard to beat in Canada, but with Demar Demar the savior, I'm feeling a little more positive. I'm feeling a little bit more positive. I'm a positive, but I'm not sure. I'm hundred percent not sure if that if the Mari Gray if the Mari Gray will take us over the edge. I'm not sure because one of our problems, despite we 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 got so much opportunity didn't score. One of our main problem was was midfield. No, the question is how are we going to set up versus Canada at Canada. That's a big question. How will we set up at Canada versus Canada versus Canada? It's going to be difficult because to include now the Marai Gray in this setup, it means that we're going to have to either pull one of the strikers or pull one of the midfielders. Now, it goes to show that the 4 4 2 system, can it continue to work? Can it really continue to work? Um, Jardo said if Boyle was living and he was the JFF president, he would not hire this Iceland coach. He picked European footballers who have no skill. They only play long ball and bypass the midfield. So, so, um, so why are you trying to get that Jardo? I mean, I really understand. Jardo, why are you getting that exactly? Uh, come on, clearly. I'm not, I, I'm not sure. Let me know exactly where you're trying to get that. We have no wit when you played against Canada. We had no wit. So, the addition of Demarai Gray is significant. And I strongly believe that his addition is going to be suitable 
against this Canada team because what you find out is that Canada kind of play somewhat trapped. The back of Alphonse, um, Alphonse Davis, like an inverted fullback, like coming inside. Now, if we could have put someone in beyond that, 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 that fullback role that Alphonse has played, it may be able to force Alphonse, Alphonse um, to, to stay back sometimes rather than most of the game we are kind of chase and we now have no wit. We are trying to find ourselves, we are trying to find our footing. Then because we, we, we can't find our footing, we have to be hitting the ball long, over the top, consistently. And it's just not conducive. Now, key point here, Demari, Demari Gray is a quality player. And what he brings to the team is something that we lack in the last game. Someone in the attacking third who's ruthless. That's what he brings to the team. That ruthlessness. He brings that to the team. And if we had had that in the first game, some of those chances that were begging to be put away, begging to be put inside the back of the net, I do believe in many facets, if Gray was in the position... If I'm being honest, if Gray was in the position, I believe that Gray would have taken those chances. I strongly believe that Gray would have taken at least one or two of those chances. So, the question we have to ask is, what does the inclusion of the Marai Gray does to this regular boys team and from my perspective it definitely makes us a lot more it gives us a, a, a more cutting edge in the final third a big aspect of Africa, a question that we are going to ask ourselves is will we create enough chances for him though and which player are what are we are in on the pitch are we in the park will we minus something or minus a player from to include gray so these are the questions surrounding the inclusion of gray i for, for me personally gray must play <laughs> for me personally gray must play that's a big question pull and bailey put gray in the more um uh, um in in, in, in over uh, over in and bailey's position is that ideal? What, what does that say about the hierarchy structure of the team? That Bailey would have lost his position because of our grey? So these are the questions that are at this moment are being posed. But for me, I want to see Grey in the squad and I do believe that Demar Grey will have a lot of substance in the, fa in the final third of our football. And they will certainly he will certainly give us that cutting edge that cutting edge that we need in the final third so can we get back because of gray certainly i think we can will we get back or win this game because of the mar gray that's the question that we all can know on the final whistle at the 90 minute and i believe we can so i think now we'll close off the gray we are now going to move 